It's a tour you can take sitting home by yourself. It's time once more to go Jeff your shelf. So PS Publishing is a publisher out of the United Kingdom, UK, England, Britain, however, whatever you want to say. And they uh, they do some really cool um, anniversary editions of Stephen King books. And um, I didn't get on at the outset. They did Thinner, Pet Cemetery, Christine, Carrie, um, before I really caught on and realized who they were and, and um, started paying attention. But now I cannot not pay attention. So I got... Um, a few so far, and I got one on order. This is Tommy Knockers, The Stand, Dead Zone. So, and also Colorado Kid. The Colorado Kid is a uh, PC edition, but it is signed by the artist. This is a little shelf candy my daughter made. I put him by um, by Tommy Knockers because he there's a there's a dog that figures prominently in Tommy Knockers. Tommy Knockers was my first. Loved the art, loved Daniel Sarah's artwork um, so much that I had him design a tattoo for me. Um, some original Daniel Sarah artwork that should get etched into my arm in, in the future. Um, future TBD. I don't know when. But they divided it up into a three volume set, um, each with its own dust jacket. The first one is signed by Daniel Sarah and numbered, and I have number 34. Um, love that. Then, uh, again, Don Mays did The Stand, the best book by Stephen King. Again, um, divided into a three-volume set. They did the same thing with Salem's Lot, which I did not buy. And um, uh, the thing with PS Publishing is they have printed boards. So all the boards... Have printed boards and you've uh, I think I believe I have an unboxing of this edition on my channel for you to review if you want to see more of any particular book you could see it there um, I love it I love it so uh, you know printed boards aren't usually my thing but um, in limited in, in moderation it's healthy it's healthy and healthy zestful enterprise and then, of course, they recently did Dead Zone. Awesome. Uh, I like this a lot more than I thought I would. It really turned out awesome. And again, this is number 34. 34, 34, 34. And then Cujo was released Friday um, for order. They opened up ordering for Cujo, and I got that. And it's going to be number 34. So um, I will add that to my shelf when it rolls in. This here is... Um, is a book from Stephen King's Alma Mater. Alma Mater. Alma Mater. It's a technical glitch. Hearts in Suspension. It has Hearts in Atlantis, the story, and as well as some very early King writings. I haven't read this book. I bought it sort of as a novelty item um, from the University of Maine. Pretty cool. So it has a lot of, uh, a lot of good King history in there from his college publishing days. This is uh, Later by Stephen King, and it came with an alternate dust jacket. You'll see another copy further up on my bookshelf um, at our last stop in this tour for today. And um, this was the alternate DJ. This is going to be my reading copy. This is a limited edition of Later. So apparently the secret of Roanoke figures into the story in some capacity. And then we have, I have two copies of Butcher Boy, or Butcher Boy, Blockade Billy. Uh, one is the Cemetery Dance edition that I think I got in a grab bag, which I liked. I thought it was cool. And the other one was the Simon & Schuster, or no, the Scribner uh, edition that had this bonus short story called Morality, which is pretty wicked. Um, I like the bonus short story. So I have a couple these two. Again, not super limited, but cool to have. Over here... Or some Joe Hill stuff. So I have Joe Hill from uh, Levidian Publications, um, 20th Century Ghosts. It looks a lot like Revival in the styling, in the in the concept design. 
very cool. This is uh, my trade first Joe Hill full throttle, and he um, signed it to the channel, actually, to me. And where is the signature? It is somewhere, I swear. Jeffing off, best wishes, Joe Hill. And, and you guys do know that Joe Hill is Stephen King's son by now. Yes, yes, you do know that. And then here is The Fireman, the most probably hated uh, Joe Hill book for some reason. I don't know. I've never read it. I've only read Horns by Joe Hill. Eager to read these at some point. But it's a fun little detour on my Stephen King book tour. And so last stop, the signed editions. And I have truly saved the best for last. This is the shelf that if the rest of my house floods, hopefully these books are up high enough to keep them pristine from the waters and the raging rapids. I put them up here. So these are the signed editions. Of course, there are a couple of honorable mentions who don't really deserve to be on this shelf, but are worthy editions nonetheless. And that is the Zeising edition of Insomnia. Um, I loved that book. I love the artwork, the Phil Hale artwork. And I love the sort of square shape of it all. It's kind of cool. I don't know. I get, I get a tickle out of it. Um, my copy was bought on eBay and there's a little bit of damage there. But, you know, life goes on. First world, you know. So that's an honorable mention. And then Dr. Sleep is arguably the best, uh, one of the best um, Cemetery Dance Productions. I really dig it. Great paper, nice page design. Um, I thought, I, I wasn't a big fan of the story. I wasn't really digging the story. Um, I don't think it was a worthy sequel or follow-up to The Shining. Sorry. Sorry, Steve. Uh, I liked it, liked it a lot, but that's a high bar. So again, here's some clown clown stuff. I have Pennywise, Funko Pop, um, a couple of turtles that I found. If you read it, you know why. Um, Krusty, who's looking very much like Pennywise with his little jazz hands going. And then more artwork from my daughter. Love it. I love it. You love it too, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So now we're getting into the the creme de la creme of my King collection. This is it. If you followed me from the beginning of this book tour, then you know that it was a very special book to me. Um, this is the first one I bought from Cemetery Dance. And wow, I was blown away. This is the unsigned gift edition. Um, you can't have gift without IT. That, that sounded better in my head. And... Um, uh, it is a sought-after book for many, many people. It really went up in value, uh, dollar value, tremendously. But the, the, the value to me is still far more than it's worth to sell. Um, I just love this book. And this is the best edition. I, of course, I would have loved a signed edition. But, you know, you know, I wasn't uh, quick on the draw. So then in 2013, they came out with The Dark Man. Please don't criticize the way I've stored this book. This is the Chad Bourne art book with the Stephen King poem. That's how I see it. And a Stephen King signature. So it's, it's really cool. It's nice. It's got a magnetic enclosure tray case here. Um, there's the, the dust jacket, the limited, sign limited. It's got a Stephen King signature in there. Very cool. Um, more of a novelty. I mean, I would prefer a full-blown book, but... You know, when you're getting Stephen King signatures, they're not all that easy to come by. So then, uh, the first signatures I ever got was I saw Stephen King on his Bag of Bones book tour. Uh, the woman who would become my wife got me tickets, and she became my wife, to see Stephen King. And, uh, and so I have both of our editions here. Um, I had these slip cases made by Jeff Wiley out of um, the UK or England or Britain in the parlance of our times. And um, so these are super hugely important to me. Um, I put the Mylar covers on them. You could tell I don't do that on a lot of my books. 
I still have the ticket to the event with the numbers, so it kind of makes it a numbered edition. Um, and there's the Stephen King signature that I saw him sign right in front of my beady, weasel-like eyes. He, um, he read at that event, LT's Theory of Pets. And um, when I got up there to ask him a question or talk to him, I didn't want to ask him a stupid question. I didn't want to tell him, I'm your number two fan, or something really contrived. So um, I actually listened to his story, and I liked it. So I asked him, um, are you a... Are you a dog person or a cat person? And he said, well, I started out as a cat person, then I switched and I became a dog person. And he looked at me, he goes, kind of like changing sexuality. And his voice sounded exactly like that. So don't question my impression of the king. So, um, yeah, that's why I have two copies of these and why my kids will get two copies of these when uh, I pass along into the clearing at the end of the path. Over here, we have the Cemetery Dance Edition of Sleeping Beauties. It's signed by both Owen and Stephen King. Um, love it, it's a bohemoth. It's also a great home defense weapon. You take this book and you, uh, it's also a fitness equipment thing. You take this book and beat the living hell out of somebody um, and you'll probably kill them. It's like a brick. Let me show it to you. Let me show it to you, why not? Here's the DJ, big, beautiful bohemoth. Um, you gotta see, okay, so those are the end papers. And of course, the main attraction, which are the signatures of the artist and the two kings, and I have 564, um, made with great, beautiful leather material. Really great stuff. It's a great, beautiful, huge honkin' limited edition. One of Cemetery Dance's best. Have I said that before? I think I've said that. I mean, to, to sum it up, really, It, Sleeping Beauties, and The Shining are the three best Cemetery Dance books that I own. That's gorgeous. This is the trade edition. Um, I saw Stephen King and Owen King during the book tour for this. I bought the slipcase from Cemetery Dance. Um, and when you go, when you went to the event, you, um, they had a pile of books. Everybody who had a ticket could grab a book. And again, I went with my wife. We saw the event, and at the end of the event, you returned your tickets. You exchanged them for a book. And uh, at random, you may or may not get a signed book. And it turned out mine was one of the signed ones. Interesting thing is when I got the book, it was dented right here. There was a lot of damage, or a little bit of damage. The pages were bent. And I was about to exchange it for a different one once I saw that. I'm like, oh, mine's all bent. I want a pristine copy. And I almost handed it back to the guy to get a different book because, uh, because I'm a, a weenie. And... He, he, and before I'm like, let me just check before I hand it back to him. I saw the signatures and then uh, I was carried out of the, se uh, of the event center on a cloud of smug air because I was so, so happy and I was not, I wasn't going to trade it. I could have asked for a pristine one with a signature, but then they would have had me arrested probably. So that's Sleeping Beauties. Then... A uh, bookstore in Florida was doing uh, a few signed editions of it, If It Bleeds. Stephen King agreed to sign 250 to support independent bookstores. And the link went out, and it was a very secret thing. I happened to get a link um, from, a, from a great guy. He gave me the link. I bought a book. Um, it came pretty damaged, but these are worth a lot of money um, now. Not that I'd want to sell it, but very hard to come by. And then finally, this is my signed copy of Later. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to get the one with the tray case. I got that. Um, and it was a mess. I mean, when Titan was releasing this book, they had a page that you could order from. They said this page will go live with the order links. 
and I sat on that page for like 20 minutes while the people who didn't sit on that page and went to the bookstores that actually were selling the books were buying the copies. And so um, I thought I missed out, but I kept trying and a half hour after it was sold out, a copy became available and I snagged it. So thrilled to get this um, with a signature. These are also going for crazy money just because Stephen King signatures are getting rarer and rarer. Um, and I've got copy number 54. So it's very, very cool. So I have seven signed Stephen King books. I don't think I'll ever have eight. I might. Um, <laughs> Folio Society recently announced Misery. Um, they had a signed edition that was available for a half hour, but it was four in the morning and I missed out. So um, maybe there'll be come, come a day where I'll, I'll score another signature, but you know, that's really not the focus of my collection. Um, but it would be, it would be nice. I'm not going to lie to you. It'd be nice. So these are my Stephen Kings from the trade editions to the signed editions. And, um, not a whole lot of rarities. I think you're, if you look through this video and you've seen the whole thing, you're going to be like, Oh, okay. There's some cool stuff there. Uh, stuff I've seen before. Not, not really hard to find, um, editions. Uh, maybe a little expensive on the secondary now, definitely more than what I paid for them, but um, not entirely super rare. It's a modest, lovely collection. I'm proud of it. I'm very happy with it. Um, you know, what can I say? It's fun. I don't get to talk about them all that much, so I'm glad you're here. Um, did you did you bring any money? Sorry. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'm going to be moving on, I believe. I'm going to do a few other book tours. I think up next I'll show you some Joe Lansdales. And then maybe a Josh Mallerman. And then maybe, you know, some other various Centipede Press, SST stuff. And then the Sun Tops. So thanks for sticking it out and seeing these books. I hope it was fun. And uh, look forward to doing more in the future.